Hi everyone, this is Renee and this is Tippy Apps and today we are looking at VLingo. So uh, VLingo is hitting version 2.0 and I'm just going to accept the terms of service. I have used it before but I am reinstalling it uh, so that you can look at it with me. This is the contact name recognition. This gives VLingo permission to create an index of my contacts. We went with, through this before with other voice recognition software. Now it is telling me what can I say. I can do email, SMS, paste, maps, social updates, web search, voice style. I'm going to get started. So here's a quick introduction on how to use Zlingo. Tap anywhere to continue. Press and speak. The area shows an example. We're going to move on through this. Dear Lisa, you can tap the apps button. Now we're going to give it a try. So um, for free, email and SMS are our paid services. We'll do that in a second. You can search um, maps. So I can say Starbucks. And you can do two things. You can either tap the button speak and then tap it again to stop or you can tap and hold. And now it showed me Starbucks. And now it's going to pull it up on a map. And I'm not going to wait for it. All right. Um, some of the other apps you can do. We have search. We've seen that before. We have uh, social. So, for example, you could enter your Facebook credentials, email and password for Facebook. I'm not going to set that up now. Twitter. You can put in your uh, Twitter ID. So I could. And I'm just going to do my passwords. What's uh, popping up? Would I like to follow Vlingo on Twitter? I am not a big fan of these. I'm sure they get a lot of followers this way, but I kind of don't like when they do this. Twitter update. Wow, a lot of applications use Twitter now. So yeah, it says it gets better as you use it. Um, you can also update here. That was a test of the new Vlingo app for at TIPB. And yeah, it's getting there, and hopefully, as it keeps going, we'll uh, we'll report back on uh, on it. But it, I mean, it's pretty good, and you can go through and you can edit the uh, various changes. You've got a keyboard and stuff there. And yes, I would like to cancel that. Um, so, other things that we can do. Email and SMS. These you have to click on the little uh, you have to click on the little shopping cart app icon 4. It's going to give me the paid features list. And uh, you can get email for 6.99, SMS for 6.99, and both of them for 9.99. And that's what I've done, and that's what I'm going to do. Now it's warning me SMS paste. Okay, so the iPhone will let you send an email, but it will not let you automatically send an SMS through this app. You're going to have to cut and paste what you dictate. So it's just letting you know that. Now I have to confirm it. And I've already bought these, uh, so we'll just see how well it remembers. Oh, okay, to download for free, very nice. All right, so now I could dictate an email. Let's see how that works. Email to Jeremy Sikora, subject, testing Vlingo, message, hey, does this message make any sense? Is it coming through in anything approximating the forms and structures of standard English? Thinking, and let's see. Jeremy Sakura, correct, testing Vlingo. Hey, this message make any sense? Is it going fuad? Anything approximating forms and structure the standard English? So again, um, it's uh it's not perfect but it's it's pretty good and like with a lot of the other apps it either does a very good job or when it fails it fails so hilariously that it is worth the comedic value alone
Yes, I'm sure I want to cancel. SMS, Dieter Bowen. Boy, this speech-to-text stuff sure is cool. It makes me ever so much less jealous of your fancy pants Nexus One. Let's see, Dieter Bone. Boy, this speech to text sure is cool. It makes me ever so much less jealous of your fancy. Man, that's pretty good. And if I click next, it's going to tell me it can copy it to the clipboard. To the clipboard, I've just got to go over here, find the text entry field. Sorry, paste it in. And there's my message, all ready to go to Dieter. Nice. So, Vlingo, press and speak. Uh, this is Vlingo version 2.0 for the iPhone, and this is Renee for Tippy Apps.